so it's that time again. And we're gonna do things just a little bit different today. I'm in my mother-in-law's car, not my car, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of driving today and I need something that's a little easier on the gas. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna hit up my go-to town. After I go to that town, then we are going somewhere completely different. Why are we not moving? It's green. <laughs> Hello. And there's a ton of DGs out that way. I just haven't been having very good luck in any of the other towns I go to. And like I said, there's just an abundance of dumpster divers anymore. So, you know, it is what it is. I figure let's just hit up some different towns and try our luck and see if we find any goodies. Also, I was reading all the comments from my last video where that other diver came up on me and I agree with a lot of you. I think she was trying to scare me away from the dumpster. I wanted to be like, wait till I'm done. But I didn't because I, you know, I'm a nice person. It's just like an unwritten, unspoken rule. You just don't do that. You don't roll up while somebody else is in a dumpster or at a dumpster. It's just not cool. Uh, let's go check this DG and see if there's anything in it. Oh my lord, that was a big bird. This is a DG market and this is what I'm finding all the time here is just food. Like, good heavens. Ooh, those carrots would be good for my dog though. Ooh, lots of carrots. Okay, let me grab those. Oh, yes, I feed my dog. Carrots and sweet potatoes. I still gotta make that video for you guys. I will make it, I promise. Yeah, nothing else good in here, but we are gonna take three bags of carrots. That's all we found, but that's all right. I am going to make a short, I think. Either a short or just a short, short, <laughs> I can speak, a shorter video on how I make my dog's food. For those of you that are new or this is your first video, I have an English bulldog who has so many allergies. And if any of you have dogs that suffer from either seasonal allergies or food allergies, or you don't know which one it is, I'm telling you, the way I feed my dog has completely cleared his allergies. He used to have to take two pills a day. Each pill was $3, two pills a day, 30 days a month. You do the math, wasn't cheap, right? So I tried everything. I mean, I tried every brand of dog food. I've tried the fresh kind, everything. They still put something in there that just irritates his stomach and his allergies. So I feed him a very clean diet. Like that dog eats healthier than I do, okay? And a lot of it I find in the dumpsters. I find blueberries and sweet potatoes and the carrots I just found. So I am gonna make a video and show you guys how I make his dog food. So be on the lookout for that. If you have a dog with allergies, I'm telling you, the way that I feed my dog is gonna help you. Now I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go jump on in these dumpsters. Right, guys, there's a bunch of truckers over at Bath and Body Works, and we passed that one for now. But I peeped in here, this is five below, and there's all kinds of mini lipsticks. So, we're gonna take them. Oh, God! Killed my gut, but I got it. All right, well. Got some lipsticks. All right, peeps, y'all see where we at. Check it out. I think there's a lamp shade back there. This table would have been so nice, but as you can see, it's broken. But can you see those back there? I think we got some pumpkins. I'm gonna set you on my car, jump on in there and grab them out. And I gotta be fast, cause they still open. Separate. This is a whole freaking thing. Oh my god, that thing was heavy. 
police living towel. Didn't need the bag, that's for sure. So I'm at Bath and Body Works. There's, I don't know why, but there's trucks behind me and trucks to my left that are moving stuff out of the Old Navy store. Not sure why. I don't think they're closing. Anyway, I checked the Bath and Body Works dumpster. That, that's the point, Shannon. Let's get to the point. And I found deodorant for men, still with the top on it. Oh, this one smells really good. I don't know what scent it is, but I have tons of these, so I love finding these. And we have a mystery bag that's still stapled. Pretty sure it's a candle. That's broken, of course, but you know me. Don't bother me none. Now let's head on to these other towns and see if we can find some good. All right, peeps, we had a Rite Aid, and I think I peeped some cereal right over there. Let's go see if there's anything in there. Something done died and came back from the dead and died again in that dumpster, girl. Woo! We're at a Rite Aid. And let me just show you what I just found. It is pretty freaking awesome. Check out that, baby. <laughs> Look at all that pop. Let's get it. Dr. Pepper, my kids are going to be so excited. Oh, it's Diet Dr. Pepper. Dang it. They do like Santa. I should back my car in with my nostrils. This is why I do it this way. That way you guys have my headlights. Very heavy. Almost done. I know a lot of you guys have been asking where Beth is. Been avoiding that question for a reason. And that's because I do not speak to her anymore. And I'll just leave it at that for now. All right, peeps, we had the last DG in this town. And I see coffee down there. And I think I see medicine in that black bag right there. The police are over here watching me. <laughs> it's not illegal and I'm not dumping, so it's okay. Ugh. Give them a show, I guess, right? Anyway, we got coffee. Allergy relief. Hold on. Allergy relief. That's it. Police are sitting right over there behind that car. They're just chilling there watching me. 
All right, we're filling up. On to the next. Police just pulled me over. Hello. Hi, I was waiting for you to pull me over. Yeah. Everything okay <laughs> over there? I'm a dumpster diver. Okay. <laughs> Stop it, your plate is showing it's expired and also a dead tag, which means it should be on any car. What? Yeah, did you recently get this? Maybe? No, we just, okay, so this was my mother-in-law's card. Okay. There's my ID. Well, she passed away in June. We had it in her name until just a few months ago. Saved all this. There's like tons of pop in there. Oh, so awesome. I donate it to women and children in need. Oh, that's pretty so, cool. So, yeah. I tell you what, if you want to keep looking for that other registration card, check your license out. Okay, I'll see if my husband has it at home. So I was like, I seen you watching me. and was like, ah, he's going to pull me over. But thank goodness he did because this was my mother-in-law's car. After she had passed, my husband and I did not want to get rid of this car because she loved this car. After she had passed, maybe like six months later we just switched it over to our insurance had it inspected and i just realized we never did get the registration so i don't know if it's because the car was only in her name that after that happens they must show the tag as like the, in the plate as a dead tag meaning like it can't be on a vehicle He's like, yeah, you need to go to Department of Transportation and get that figured out. I did not know that. When we transferred the title over, I just assumed like the plate, but that's a totally different thing. He was super nice and he didn't give me a ticket. So before he left, I was like, you want some pop? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm good. As I always tell you guys, look up your laws because in my area, it's legal, but it may not be in yours and you could end it up in handcuffs right there. All right, guys, I have been driving all over for hours. I am at a big lots. Uh, or no, where am I at? I'm at Burlington. Oh, what's in the box? Is this a candle? That's a nice candle right there. We'll take that. Oh, that was cute. There's another one that's broken. Oh, here's the pieces. Welcome fall with little pumpkins. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's freaking broken. Man. Yeah, all the little pieces of the pumpkins are broken, but I could probably fix it. At least one of them, anyway. Well, we'll take both. Oh, and we got some more. I could probably fix those. Mickey Mouse cup. I'm gonna take all these little pieces and fix those. Too bad that vase was broken. That would have been cute. We are heading home. Not another DG. It is now 11 o'clock. I left my house at six and I've done nothing but mostly drive. <laughs> Oh, and this is gonna look like it's just all trash. Oh, I see stuff. <laughs> oh God, I just smacked my elbow. Oh, that hurt. Crackers? guys I stopped at one more before I head home let's see if there's anything in it oh oh it's all frozen oh wait I think there's cat food back there oh goodness gracious and we got coffee we actually might have some other stuff under here. I might just have to dig. Coffee? 
cat food. These two bags of cat food are open, so that's no bueno. Oh my gosh. A whole case of coffee creamer. Some of them opened, some of them didn't. We'll take all the ones that didn't open. That's the only other one. The other ones are all open. Banana muffin little bites. I found some goodies. We got bottled water. Cat litter. Pumpkin muffins. More muffins. Zombie talkies. <laughs> Oh man, I just got creamer all in my freaking shoe, <laughs> son of a bee. All right, everything else is frozen. Oh my God, my whole freaking, look at my, <laughs> only me guys, only me, seriously. <laughs> my once black sock is now white. Well, at least it was only creamer. <laughs> As you've seen, we found a ton of pop in that Rite Aid dumpster. And do y'all know how expensive pop is nowadays? Not even just pop, like everything is expensive. I mean, I go to the grocery store every single Monday and do my grocery shopping for the week. and. I'm spending more and more each and every week. It is so flipping insane. I buy groceries for a week and I'm spending $200 for a family of four. Like I can't even imagine you families that are families of six, seven, eight, nine. I couldn't afford it. I, I truly couldn't. I am super excited because we found a lot of awesome things. It wasn't my best work. But like I always say, every little bit adds up. And when I show you the mountain of donations I have over here, we have a huge pile over there for the no-kill animal shelter. I have so many chips, it's insane. I mean, whole freaking huge boxes full of stuff. We have cleaning products, everything from cereal to decor, lighter cases, pop, ashtrays. I mean, there is so much over here. And that's not even including all of the paper that I found not too long ago. Or pop back here and bottled water. So yeah, I'm pretty sure all these little dives add up to one awesome donation. And that is the whole point. So I'm gonna zip my mouth, flip y'all around, and give you an overview of everything I see. For my little precious peanut, we have three bags of carrots. And like I told y'all, I am gonna be making that video for you. It will be the next video I upload. I'm telling you guys, I save so much money on that and he has never been healthier. He is one of the healthiest looking bulldogs and that was coming from my vet. He said, whatever you're doing, continue doing it. He is very a very good weight and no allergies. So he is completely off his allergy medicine. You guys saw me pull this bad boy right out the home goods dumpster. And when I show you the price, <laughs> you are going to be like, girl, I would never. It does have a little bit of flaws in it, but I'm going to fix her up. And honestly, I'll just face a lot of this towards the back and you're only going to see the good part, which is all of this in the front. So no one's gonna notice. But let me show you this price tag, $100, guys. This was a hundred freaking dollars. Not this girl, ain't paying that. <laughs> I also got all of this coffee creamer. Do you know, I was curious because I don't ever buy coffee. I may drink like a Dunkin' iced latte here and there, but I'm not one to ever buy coffee. My husband nor I drink it. So I was wondering when I was at Walmart the other day, grocery shopping, how much one of those Folgers little containers are of coffee. That size was almost $7 at Walmart. This big size, who knows how much that is, but $7 for that. 
And then of course I found the creamers to go with it. We have these Takis, three boxes of Little Bites muffins, three different kinds of allergy meds, a big old bag of cat food, and a bag of cat litter. All of these corn nuts, Nutter Butters, Chips Ahoy, Animal Crackers, Regular Crackers, and graham crackers. And then we got dog treats, this cute little watermelon cup. We have this mini mouse cup. It does not have a lid. And then of course I have the fall decor signs, which I'm going to fix. All of the lipsticks from five below. Another cute little kid's cup. I also found this pumpkin chai candle, which smells so good. And then from Bath and Body Works, we have the men's deodorant, one of the smelly good refill things, and a mystery bag. Let's find out what's in the Bath and Body Works bag. I know it smells good. Have a very broken lavender vanilla candle that's never been burnt. So I of course will get all the glass off of that and that will go in my wax melter. I know it's not as massive as my other scores it used to be whenever I first started because back then, you know, there just wasn't as many divers. But like I said, all of the little dives add up to a massive donation. And that is what is important. So I'm not too mad at it. But I did want to touch on one more thing. You guys that have been asking about the person that used to go diving with me that was my best friend, I no longer speak to. I'm not going to disclose all of the information just because um, even though she did me dirty, I'm not going to put her on blast. It's sad, it's unfortunate, but that is what it is. And can't do anything about it now. That's where we're at with it. So. I know a lot of you have been asking, why aren't you answering our comments about where Beth has been? Well, there you go. That's why I haven't answered them because I didn't know if I wanted to put this out there, but I figure I need to do it because if not, everyone's gonna keep asking. So no, I am no longer friends with her and no, she will never be in a video of mine again. So I'm sorry, but that's what it is. So. On that note, that's gonna do it for this one. I gotta take my kiddos to cheer practice. So I will see you guys in the next video, which of course will be me making my dog food and I will show you guys how to save tons of money on that. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me at the dumpsters and today in the reveal, I of course will talk to you all in those comments down below and until next time, happy diving.